what's up waters welcome to another episode of adventures in welding i'm paul thanks for joining me it is uh five days since i've had my uh left hand carpal tunnel surgery done i don't know if you can see there's some bruising there we had this one done on a friday probably not a good idea because uh it's a bit more painful than the right hand. The right hand went absolutely smooth as silk. This one hurts. But I have the function in my hand so we're not going to sweat it. But we are going to keep it clean. So that's why I'm putting on the old uh, bend over and cough glove. Um, don't want you to think I was going on Michael Jackson on you with the one glove so I figured I'd explain why I was doing it first. Anyway, today we're sticking with uh, Stick Weld, SMAW, and today we're going to talk about um, one of my favorite electrodes. This is the 7024. This is a uh, 7024 from Lincoln. And what's really cool about these, um, this is called the Jet Weld, by the way. They have different names. Uh, Aesop calls it the uh, Shore Weld. And Hobart calls it the Rocket 7024. But this is a high deposition rate. There is just a crap load of iron powder in this flux. And one of the advantages of this, of this is it just lays down a ton of material. This has a 50% greater uh, material lay down deposition rate than your basic 7014. It also makes a really nice looking bead. It can basically run itself, but I'm going to show you that in a little demonstration. And uh, if you have your machine set right, the slag is just going to fall right off of it. Caveats, this is a flat and, and barely horizontal position rod. This puddle is going to be so fluid with all that iron in it, it is going to want to drip out everywhere. So flat position, yes. Horizontal position, mm, I wouldn't trance it. I mean, if you could set something up with maybe about a 30 degree angle, you could probably get away with it. 90 degree angle, not going to happen. Now, it is useful in, a, in a, about a 30 degree angle like this in a downhand weld mode. So the 7024, the biggest the biggest advantage of it is an incredible 50% greater deposition rate than the 7024. A secondary advantage of it, in my opinion, is that it doesn't need to be stored in an oven. This is not a low hydrogen rod. You can keep this in your truck. You can keep this in a box. Um, I keep them in a plastic container that I get from Harbor Freight. And they stay good. Uh, primary uses, shipbuilding, bridge building, heavy fabrication, construction. When you need to lay down a thick bead, 7024 is your friend. Now, one of the cool things about 7024 is where the flux burns, it burns somewhat like a 7018. The flux is going to form a cup at the edge of the rod, and the actual rod's going to burn up inside the cup. And what that allows you to do is to actually drag the flux along the metal. So let me set up a little demonstration for this and I think you're going to find it pretty cool. If I do this correctly, and literally what are the chances of that, I should be able to strike this arc and then sit this electro holder down and it should run by itself. Let's try it. I 
that thing ran by itself. Okay guys, you can see I've got a nice little uh, T-joint set up here. Do a nice little fillet weld. This is uh, 3 8 inch material. A little, whoa, sorry about that. Pan over to here so you can see the uh, machine is set for 140 amps. We're going to be using the 332nd. Seventy twenty-four at one hundred forty amps, and I'm going to be. I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to use my uh, GoPro four with a number ten lens on it to capture the arc for you. At least that's my plan. I'm going to mount, mount, I'm going to hold the electrode in there at about a 45 degree angle as you can see. All right, let's see what kind of beads we can lay down. And that is how quick that you can burn up one of these. I mean, we're talking seconds. So let's finish off our bead here. And you can see, wow, I barely made it to the end. But that, my friends, is laying down some metal. So give me a second here. Let me flip this thing around and let you have a look. Grab a little file here. So you can see. How easily. That slag comes off there. I mean there is nothing. Nothing to it at all. Three. Two. One. I mean, that lays down a beautiful bead. <laughs> if you can keep up with it, get yourself a file, hit those toes, and you're ready to roll. Thanks for joining me again on another episode of Adventures in Welding. We are up over 724 subscribers this morning that's incredible i mean that's like 200 and some subscribers in like two weeks i mean thank you thank you all i'm glad you like the show leave comments of what you'd like to see i read everything i respond to anything that is not just someone being an asshole i mean if you have uh criticism i'll respond to it if you just say you suck well I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to play with trolls. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you.
Please keep watching. Get the hell out of my shop. I got stuff to do.